I'll get uh, straight to the point, as I'm not here to waste your time. I'll give you a bit of context while we're waiting for the terrain to generate. Okay, so I've actually been working on mesh level of detail for this past couple of days. My solution works by sampling the terrain at multiple resolutions while meshing the chunk and uh, then constructing multiple meshes, one for each level of detail. Then I just dy dynamically switch between these levels of detail meshes based on the chunk's distance to the camera. If you use oak trees, or really any other tree structures, you usually get pretty much free LODs with them. However, my data isn't stored in any kind of a tree structure, but a uh, dynamic palette structure. Um, I could combine an oak tree and a palette, but I feel like I have more important things to work on right now. Besides, there are some gameplay implications too. For example, lower levels of detail allow the player to see through the terrain to some extent. If there's some block hidden under the terrain and it just happens to be placed in the spot where the LOD would be sampled, the block can be seen through the ground. For example, this spot here, you can see that uh, the, sur the surface is just grass blocks, but as you move further away, you can uh, see that uh, the lower LODs will display the blocks under the surface grass. This is because uh, the lower level of detail will sample blocks through the surface of the terrain. <clears throat> And uh, this actually forced me to make this abomination just to get the surface rendering to work. And it still really doesn't. And I'm not even gonna talk about uh, terrain holes like there or LOD stitching. These holes happen because uh, this happened at the boundaries of two different lower levels of detail because the uh, closer, higher level of detail can't cover the holes created by the lower level of detail. I've since concluded that I probably won't be working on LODs further for the time being because of these aforementioned issues. I mean, you can obviously work around them and I want my game to run on pretty much any hardware, but I feel like uh, there are much better ways to achieve lower frame times without affecting the gameplay as much. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you'll have a good rest of your day.